LB Nation, it is an honor to serve as your head basketball coach. Uh, the first thing I want to say about this contract extension is, is first of all, the, the Munson family is, is so excited to be part of the Beach family uh, uh, from this point forward. And I think the contract says to me is that I'm working for the right people at the right place. I think if you look at the history of, of Long Beach State basketball, the, the head basketball position here has kind of been a stepping stone for a lot of coaches that get here and win and, uh, and look to go to a bigger place. And I think this uh, shows both ways that this is a destination for, for me and my family. Um, been here 11 years and uh, uh, to be able to say that we're gonna, we're gonna stay here for the foreseeable future is just so exciting for, for all of us. And, uh, and I think another thing it says a lot about is who you're working for. And uh, in the course of the, being in this profession for 30 years, I have learned uh, the hard way, the good way, a lot of ways that the people make the job. And uh, the commitment that President Conley and, and uh, Andy Fee and the administration are making to the basketball program and the statement they're making with this contract is, is, is unbelievable and it lets me know I'm at the right place. Um, it's kind of, a, if you look at college basketball right now in the landscape, it's, there's so much of this win at all cost and uh, with the probes of the FBI and all the, the innuendos and all the things of corner cutting and people not doing it the right way, the administration here is, to me, talking loud and clear that uh, they want to win. I mean, there's no two people I know any more competitive than President Connolly and Andy Fee but they want it done the right way. They want it done uh, with the right people uh, and, uh, and that it's not a win at all cost uh, situation here. You know? Well, I think, I think the biggest change that this does is it says, you know, we're, 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 slow down, let's get, let's get this right. You know, um, it's almost like starting again when we brought in Casper Le uh, Ware, Larry Anderson, TJ Robinson and Gene Phelps. You know, let's build with some, some student athletes that, that want to be here for the long term that, uh, you know, and, and make sure that, uh, you know, th there's going to be over 800 transfers and, and certainly a good transfer can, can supplement your program at a place like Long Beach State. And, and we've done that with some success, but we don't need three or four of them. We don't need to panic here. We need to develop here. And when you do that, you develop the whole person. Uh, when you only have a player for one or two years, it's really hard to to really reach that, that, that person and, and get to know them. And, and for our, our boosters and, and, and students and, and fans to get to know that, that player. So I think the, the best thing that this does is, is we, we can build with, with younger players and not have to worry about next year, but let's worry about the next three or four years and get the right people in here. Well, my scheduling philosophy is since, since I got here and in, since day one has been the preseason needs to be it's truly a preseason. We need to develop our players, uh, we need to, need to challenge them, and we need to play for a, a, a uh, at-large bid and have a good enough schedule uh, that if we don't win the league that we have a chance to still get selected for the NCAA tournament. Now in 2012, I think we were on track for that. Even, you know, I talked to that, a lot of people on that, on that committee and I think even if we would have lost that year, we had a great opportunity to get in the tournament. But since then, the schedule, we've got to get a, a little bit more of a balance than we've had, you know. We, we don't have the, we're not at the level as we were in 2012 since that class left to, to play four or five or six uh, high level games. I think we need three or four of those. Uh, we need also some home and home series and try to get more. Uh, for a while there, it was hard to get home games because nobody wanted to come here. But I think the, the benefit of being down a little bit is, is I think scheduling becomes a little bit easier. And, and I think uh, I, I'm still not gonna back off. This program needs to compete for uh, at-large bids. It needs to compete every year for a Big West title. Uh, so we're gonna schedule in, in that aggressive form. But also, you know, we can't lose confidence, our kids can't lose confidence, and we gotta give them some games to develop uh, from that side of, the, uh, of, their, of their mental frame in the preseason also. Uh, we've beaten both UCLA and USC, two teams that, that have never come in, you know, that wouldn't come in here. USC finally came in here and we were able to beat them. And we beat UCLA, uh, you know, in Anaheim a few years ago. So uh, I think you can't have, a program that you're trying to get to their level without playing them and 
And uh, so I still uh, continue to do that. Both those teams are on our schedule next year. And uh, they're at Poly Pavilion and at the, at the Galen Center. But we're going to go and, and uh, what great opportunities for not just our student athletes uh, next year in, that, uh, in those games, but for our fans to be able to go across town and be able to watch those. Well, I think, again, people are, uh, why, why, are, why are we extending this contract as, as far as what's the vision and what's going to be different? I think uh, we've had some great student athletes that have come through here in the 11 years, both as basketball players, as students, and, and ha as uh, uh, people. Uh, but uh, I think uh, as you try to elevate the program, uh, it starts slanting too much to their basketball ability. And I think the vision as we go forward is to make sure that that we have the whole person come in here that is got a high basketball IQ, but also is, is academically uh, sound and, and can represent us off the court in a way that all of us are gonna be proud of. And uh, you know, I know our graduation rate is like 83% since I've been here, I'm very proud of that. Uh, I, I think the national average is significantly lower than that. And, and that needs to stay there. But um, I do think that uh, this contract allows you to make sure that you're not just, oh, we've, got to have, we've got to have a point guard in here at all costs. And that's what our administration is, is saying with this, is, is uh, we're not gonna be uh, compromising anything. We're gonna get the best person in here uh, and develop them into the student athletes we all be proud of. One thing this contract does is it really exemplifies uh, continuity. And that's one thing that's really difficult in college basketball right now is that continuity. And last year we had a tremendous amount of, of change. In college basketball, uh, there's six, eight hundred, they're, they're saying there could be a thousand transfers this year. And it's just the culture of college basketball. And I think uh, we had that last year and the development of our players really showed we didn't have an off season of, of, of great player development because we had so many new guys and just got them here in August, September. Whereas this year uh, with uh, Gabe Levin, Barry Ogilou, and Quentin Swapshire being our only seniors, uh, I think uh, next year's team uh, is gonna have a core of the same players back. We're obviously gonna miss Gabe Levin, a uh, first team all league player, but the core of this team is back next year, coupled with the opportunity for our staff to get to develop them for the next eight, nine months before we get back out there on the court. Well, we have a great nucleus with, with uh, Timodayo Yusuf back uh, to anchor on, on the front line, uh, uh, Deshaun Booker and, and Brian Alberts and, and uh, freshmen like um, Edan Maksumi and, and um, Jordan Roberts. So there's a lot to work with and a lot to be excited about this program and where it's at. I think the terms are fair. Uh, it's less money for me and, and, and we've struggled the last couple of years and I think the, the, the money is not what I'm here for. It's for the success of the program and if more money can be put towards the program and, and less towards me, I think that's a fair thing to do. We, we haven't had the years, uh, the last couple of years that, that we need to have and so some things had to change. and. Uh, uh, we've got to put money in different places rather than uh, towards me. It needs to go towards the program. It needs to be more equitable both directions. That's what a contract is. That's what a fair contract is all about. And I think um, uh, this one is, is, is extremely fair and it's got a lot of incentives in it. If we win, then it's worth more. If we don't, then, then I don't deserve more. And I think uh, uh, we're all on the same page from day one with that too. Our, our vision uh, going forward is to, to compete for uh, league championships every year. And uh, uh, the last two years, uh, uh, we finished fifth, which I think is the lowest in the, the last 10 years that I've been here. But, you know, we've competed for championships. We, we were leading the conference at the midway point this year, uh, and we're gonna be in it every year. Uh, that's uh, something that uh, uh, we, is, is part of our culture. Uh, but being in it is not good enough. We've got to, to, to get back to that. Uh, expectation and I know uh, people are frustrated out there and I applaud that I want people frustrated I don't want people happy with fifth believe me Dan Munson is not happy with fifth Andy Fee is not happy with fifth but again we're gonna do it the right way to get back to the championship level that we were a couple years ago and, and the expectations of that uh, I, I am thankful that it has not changed that people expect us every year to win this conference and go to the NCAA tournament and uh, I expect nothing less of myself and this program also. I just want to say thank you and go Beach!